Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'll walk you to how to use the cursor widget in MapPilot. Alright, so a cursor widget is a cross-chair pointer graphical control to select a point in a graph. So for example, uh, here I have a MapPilot graph. Noticing that in my graph, I have this uh, class uh, graphical control that allows me to select uh, different points much easier. And this is going to be the widget we're going to learn how to implement uh, in this video. Now let me close this window. I'm going to import the NumPy library, followed by the mapPilot.pyplot uh, library. I'll name this as PLT. Oh, this should be import. To import the uh, cursor widget, we want to type from mapperlib.widgets. We're going to import the cursor class. Now I want to generate my x and y values. So I'm going to uh, use the numpy's library. So from np.random. And I want to create two sets of data. So it's going to be two. And I want to be 100 values per set. And I'll name the outputs x and y. All right, so we can now plot the uh, graph. I'll provide my x data points and the y data points. And for the graph, it's going to be a line graph without the line. And I'll insert the uh, markers. And let's take a look. Oh, I forgot to create my uh, figure and axis object. So it's going to be plt subplus. And I'll set the figure size to, let's do 9 by 6. Alright, so here's our graph. Basically a scatter chart. Now I want to uh, insert the cursor widget. Here I'm going to insert the cursor class. I want to go to the documentation first. All right, so if we look at uh, cursor's uh, syntax, the cursor class requires the X object. And these are some of the uh, settings that we can configure, such as uh, if you want to display the horizontal line or do you want to uh, display just the uh, vertical line, or we can display both. And it's blue means that we can use the graphical engine on your PC MapPilot will be able to use the graphical engine for a faster drawing or faster plotting. Alright, so here let's go back. And I'm going to insert my X object here. Alright, so let's say if I want to uh, display just the horizontal line. And to do that, we want to set the horizontal line on a parameter to 2. Then we want to set the vertical line, which is uh, vert's on. I think that's how you pronounce it. They want to set the parameter value to false. I also want to uh, set the language to us uh, to 2.0. And for the line color, let's set that to red this time. I'll name the output cursor. All right, so if we graph the, the graph, and here's our uh, cursor widget. Now I want to go back to the uh, class. I want to change this to true because I want to uh, display both lines. And here we have our cursor pointer. And if I want to uh, display or return the values corresponding to the uh, pointer, here let's go back to the documentation. If you go to the event handling and picking uh, documentation, and if you scroll towards uh, somewhere around the top, these are all the events that you can uh, implement to your widget. So for example, I want to return the uh, corner values when I press my uh, mouse button. Then I can use this uh, button plus event. And to implement the event, I want to reference the figure object dot converse dot MPL underscore connect. They want to insert the event name followed by the function. 
I haven't created a function yet, so let's create a function. I'll name this function on plus. And this function takes the event parameter. And I'm going to just print the event first. So here, uh, this is going to be on plus. Oh, and here have a typo, should be connect. All right, so if we look at uh, the uh, cursor, unless I want to return the value associated to uh, this point right here, and I'll press my mouse button, and I'll return uh, multiple properties that are associated to this uh, button plus event. Now going back to the unplus uh, function, I want to return both uh, the corner position as well as the uh, the value associated to the y and x axis. So this is going to be corner position x and y that format. And I can reference the x value by referencing the event argument that x, and it's going to be event that y. If I want to return the value, so it's going to be a uh, data point value. That format. And I can reference the event argument that x data and event dot y data. And I'll come in out this line. All right, so going back to the graph, if I click on anywhere uh, on the graph, the first line is going to give us the uh, corner position, and the second line is going to be the uh, actual data point value associated to the x and y points. Alright, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.